Christian Schumann is a very young and talented German conductor. Born in 1983, this 29-year-old conductor has performed with many famous orchestras, including the Hamburg Symphony Orchestra, the London Philharmonic Orchestra, and the Symphony Orchestra of St. Gallen in Switzerland. This time in Vietnam, the main purpose of his trip is to perform in a concert with the Hanoi Philharmonic Orchestra. Let's now find out more about this concert and especially about this young, talented conductor. Hello, uh, Christian. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. After the dress rehearsal. Uh, thank you very much for being on our show today. I know you have a very busy schedule, so thanks a lot for being here. Now, we know this is not the first time you've been to Vietnam, so can you tell us a little bit about your first time here in Vietnam? My first time in Vietnam was a big, big surprise. I was, at that time, I was living in Switzerland. I was working at the Opera House there. And one day I just received this phone call asking me, could you go to Hanoi next week? So I said, well, why not? I would love to do it, but I need to, to adjust and I need to change some things, but consider me in. Now, the idea was that a, another German conductor was supposed to come to Hanoi in order to prepare the um, uh, HPO. And this specific conductor could not come to prepare the orchestra, so they asked me. I came here, so that was my first experience, and luckily not the last. Why did you choose Vietnam as the destination for your concerts? Oh, because I love to come here. And also for me, it's important to get into this, into the whole thing. Not just coming here as a, as a guest conductor. No, I want to go out. I want to know what people think about their jobs. I want them to experience maybe another perspective on their job and on their future as a musician, as an artist, which I find particularly important in Vietnam. What about the audience? What do you hope to bring to the audience of the concert? We want the audience to be understood. We want the audience to be entertained. But we also would like the audience to be challenged. Challenged so they can deal with it and the challenge becomes a positive reaction or it creates a positive reaction from the audience. So there is this curiosity, interest. When did you first want to become a conductor? I had a different musical education. I started playing the piano when I was six. And my parents allowed me to do all sorts of musical um, activities. And I, was, I seemed to be a happy kid with everything which made noise and sound and everything. So they decided to give, give me uh, piano lessons uh, at the age of six. And then at some point I realized Man, something is, something is strange. I love to play the piano, but I'm not enjoying that much going on stage by playing the piano. So I, I realized that actually playing the piano for me was more a personal need. On the other hand, what I was missing is like, was exchange about music with other people. So while I was still in this young student program, I took some conducting lessons. And looking back, I chose to, the, the right thing to do. Not necessarily always easy times, but it was the right decision for me to do that. And that feels really good.
Christian has performed in Vietnam many times and the work that he does is much appreciated by the Vietnamese musicians, especially because he understands the Vietnamese culture and thus knows how to bring the best out of the Vietnamese players. Christian Schumann is a conductor who always wants to achieve the best possible result for his orchestras. He's very strict, but at the same time, he understands the personalities of the Vietnamese people and how we work, which makes it very easy for us to work with him. This is the first time I work with such a young conductor as Christian Schumann. He's very experienced. He knows how to send his message to the players without being forceful. And his musical ideas show that he thoroughly understands what the composers want to achieve with each piece. The concert was a huge success. By helping the symphony play at their best, Christian was able to give his audience an amazing performance. The conductor is young, but he has shown a very impressive performance today. Everyone in the audience, both Vietnamese and foreigners, gave him a huge round of applause. I have never seen such strong, enthusiastic applause. Christian has already been invited back to Vietnam for another concert next year. His main goal while being here is to help improve the quality of the Vietnamese orchestra music scene. How do you find the performance of the orchestra here in Hanoi compared to the other uh, orchestras that you have conducted in Europe uh, and other countries? It is not like in Singapore or Malaysia where all the musicians are actually foreign people in an orchestra. Here, it's 100% Vietnamese people in the orchestra. So this is a very different approach. You start on a completely different level, and you really have to try to, to go until here where you then have the, the performance. Now, when I go to an orchestra where you have two or three rehearsals, it's just completely different because you don't start here, you start here but you only have three days. The next step for an orchestra like this would be a structure with a conductor working with the orchestra more or less regularly. So having one concert each month or every two weeks. Orchestra is not I do, I do, I do, and then maybe we'll meet. No, it's we do together. And there's a fantastic picture which is um, which has been described by Karayan, a very famous conductor, who said that if you manage to conduct the orchestra perfectly, it's like a flock of birds, hundreds of birds, which by some miraculous reason just change the direction from left to right, and nobody knows why. But there is this common sense in all of them that now we do this. And now we go up, go down, whatever. And yeah, of course, authority is important, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. It's not like I'm the conductor, you sh yeah. oh, I'm, I'm open for comments and everything. Well, thank you very much, Christian, for being here with us today. Um, we have learned a lot more about you and your passion for the, uh, conducting music as well as for the Vietnamese orchestras that you have worked with. So we hope to see you more in the future concerts here in Vietnam. Thank I you very so much. Too. Thank you very much. Thank you.